E bine, tot v-am provocat eu să trimiteți pe pagina noastră de Facebook, pe HD Party, filmulețe cu voi. Cu voi petrecându-vă, cu voi călătorind, cu voi făcând un sport extrem sau nu numai, dar făcând ceva pentru timpul liber. Trebuie să imortalizați aceste momente pentru că s-ar putea odată și odată să descoperiți în voi un mare artist, un mare fotograf, un, fo- un mare, uh, să spun așa, cameraman, care poate să devină un mare YouTuber, la fel cum este Devin, de la care noi am luat multe dintre filmulețele lui. Cu ocazia asta trebuie să vă și arătăm un filmuleț cum le face el, cum călătorește, cum își petrece timpul liber într-un mod foarte plăcut, începând de la un hobby, a ajuns să trăiască din asta. Urmează să vedeți un filmuleț de pe YouTube al lui Devin care pe noi ne-a ne-a inspirat, să spun așa. Poate vă inspiră și pe voi și o să ne trimiteți cât mai multe filmulețe. Pe pagina noastră de Facebook, bineînțeles. People are always asking me what I do for a living. Let me try and paint you a picture of what really goes down and explain what I love to do. My day normally consists of waking up early, before sunrise, hiking 11 miles in, only to get to a dead end, then have to get all my camera gear, pack it up in a dry bag, stick it into the ocean, and then start swimming for another hour in big, gigantic waves. Well, they're big for me, at least. Um, tides and shark-infested waters to try and get to another area, which once I get to that area, I will do a shot that will last for maybe four seconds at most of a three-minute video that ends up on YouTube. After that, then I spend another day hiking out and then I figure out the next shot. So that's what I do for a living when you guys ask what I do. Everyone thinks that I just go out there and have fun, party and be a rock star. If you guys want to keep on thinking that, I'm all for it. But the truth of the matter is what I do, it it is work. It's a crazy amount of work. I absolutely love it. I'll keep on doing it till the day I die. But The things I do and the reason why I'm able to do it is because I think no one else is willing to do it. Um, so for me, it's all about getting the shots that no one else will will get or no one will be willing to, to fight for. Um, but it was the same situation when I filmed the video on the island of Kauai, just showing off Kauai by itself. I went down there with a, a group of friends. We were there for, well, I was there for a total of 11 days. They were there for four days. We hiked the Nepali coast, which is an 11-mile hike. They left, and then I was basically there by myself. Now, basically what happened once I was there by myself is I didn't have any money like to spend or go all out. At the time, we had rented a, a, a truck that we'd all pitched in, so I had that truck for, I think it was like five days extra, because um, it was part of a bundle thing situation. So I was able to take that truck and basically explore the island of Kauai and film the island of Kauai. Now, with that being said, I would shoot all day, and then at nighttime, I would drive back to the main like city slash village which was where Walmart was I would park in the parking lot of Walmart take in all my batteries charge them in the McDonald's that was inside of Walmart and then I'd spend about an hour going over on all the on the books and the postcards showing off Kauai and I'd basically plan my route and I didn't have like an iPhone that had like Google Map or Google Earth or anything like that like I'd literally have to plan on an old-fashioned map like old school style So I would do that after my batteries were done charging the McDonald's, and I'd go into my my truck that I was I was renting, and then I would sleep there, wake up around five before the sun rose, and then drive to the next location where I'd be filming to make sure I could get the lighting the best when the sun was rising. So that's literally what I did for the the Kauai video. Is it was a crazy amount of work. Half my time was spent at nighttime. Well, it was all spent at nighttime at Walmart. So everyone's always saying, "Oh, you have so much money to do all these things." What you guys don't see or what you guys don't realize is it is very ghetto style as far as I'm not staying in fancy hotels unless there's a sponsor then I will gladly accept that fancy hotel which has happened in the past like don't get me wrong but especially starting out like I was going on absolutely nothing like I was eating like the plants that I could see like from the road like the bananas I make sure they weren't like someone's or at least I would assume they weren't someone's um, but literally what I do is work and I absolutely absolutely love it Um, but yeah, for all my videos, there's always kind of a crazy story that goes along with it as far as what it took to, to get those shots. Same situation with this cliff diving video is it was work, believe it or not. For example, there's one scene in it that lasts for, I don't know, four seconds just near the beginning. And basically to get that shot, it was an hour drive. 
Once we got there, we had to get all our kayaks and everything. Then we got those kayaks and we paddled out another hour to the Moke Islands. Once we got out there, then what we did is we had to hike another 30 minutes to the opposite side of the island, climb up, and then we had to do a couple shots. And then we spent another two to three hours traveling back home. So that was a shot that only lasted a couple seconds. It was a half day just to even get those shots. So going back to it, same thing with this video, is you see a video that lasts two minutes and 30 seconds. Like I've literally been shooting this over the course of a year as far as each time I come to Hawaii, which I come very often because a lot of my videos I shoot there, I would shoot a different scene at a different location because I wanted to capture all the great things that Hawaii had to offer as far as cliff diving. So that's why I shot it in several different locations because I wanted to capture that. So this wasn't no day project, this was a very long project. And that, generally speaking, is how most of my videos are. Um, a lot of people say, well, why haven't you released this video yet? What people don't realize is all the work that goes into it. Another example is I've, I've been working on this video with Lindsay Sterling for a long time, a Final Fantasy medley video, if you will. Super excited about that, by the way. And um, we literally shot that in every season. We're shooting in spring, we're shooting in summer, we're shooting in fall, winter. So we wanted to capture every element of it. So that's the reason why these videos take so long is because they are a crazy amount of work. And that once again goes back to what I said at the very beginning, is for me and what I feel keeps me in business is you have to be willing to get the shots that no one else will fight for, that no one else will be willing to do. Um, and I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love what I'm doing. That's the reason why I'm doing it, believe it or not. Um, and hopefully that shows, but I do love it, but it is a crazy amount of work. So for those people that ask what can they do to to get to, to where I'm at as far as what I'm doing, what it really comes down to is just being willing to work when no one else is willing to work. So when your quote unquote competition is sleeping, you are up working. Now obviously you're gonna have to find balance, but you're gonna also have to be able and be willing to work when no one else is working. Um, that's kind of how it was when I was, was going to high school is all my friends were out partying on the weekend, living the dream, right? Um, so all they were out partying, I was at home or outside filming, making movies with my friends, and I was constantly learning what I absolutely love to do. One of the kind of the quotes that I heard during this whole filmmaking process when my friends told me, and I think it's true not just of, it talks about like physical wealth, but it talks also about your passion, in my opinion. Now what that quote is, is this. The difference between a rich man and a poor man is a poor man plans for the weekends and a rich man plans four years in advance. And that's really what it comes down to, and that's kind of how I see what I do, is everything is with the idea of the future. For all you guys that are thinking about pursuing filmmaking or being a lawyer or whatever that is, as long as you're pursuing it and preparing for it way in advance and not just planning for the weekends, I really believe anyone can, can reach those goals, reach those dreams. So yeah, that's the kind of final census. I don't want anyone to get discouraged or anything like that. I want to inspire and let you guys know that it's definitely obtainable, but you have to work for it, you have to fight for it. You have to fight for it like no one else is fighting for it. So yeah, I love what I do and I would encourage anyone out there who loves something to work for it, to fight for it, and be willing to fight for it when no one else is fighting for it at that time. And you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Tot repet eu de pagina noastră de Facebook, de HD Party. HD Party este pagina care găzduiește evenimente și promovează evenimente. E bine, de data aceasta, acolo puteți să vedeți că avem foarte multe evenimente pe săptămâna asta. Dar, în mod special, o să mergem la Antonia să filmăm. O să mergem să fim alături de cei care se petrec, își fac poze și trăiesc clip alături de Antonia. Și, bineînțeles, la vtm de la HD, unde o să vedeți foarte mult Sky Putere și o adrenalină descărcată la maxim, să spun așa, pentru că acolo e un loc pentru iubitorii de mașini, pentru iubitorii de adrenalină și de sport în același timp. Până săptămâna viitoare, vă salut!